guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 4 Module 4 Lesson 2 homework. So let's get started. Number one, use a right angle template that you um, made in class to determine if each of the following angles is greater than, less than, or equal to a right angle. Label each as greater than, less than, or equal to, and then connect each angle to the correct label of acute, right, or obtuse. First one has been completed. Alright, so you guys can have your own little tool thing, but I have this thing I found. I'm not sure what this is, but I don't know, but I just found this randomly in my house. But this is a tool you should have. It's like a little right angle. So right angle is kind of like when you make an L shape with your hand. Like, it should just be like that kind. Of shape like a right angle would be 90 degrees so acute is an angle that is less than 90 degrees and obtuse is an angle that is more than 90 degrees so a this angle let's see okay if we like measure it kind of like that can you see that so if it was a right angle the um this line part over here would be like up here, 90 degrees. If it was obtuse, it would be like somewhere there. But this part, it's like getting cut off, kinda. Like if you move this, you can see part of the angle. So this is less than 90 degrees, so it's a cube. So B, this angle, let's see. It matches the right angle perfectly. So this one is actually equal to the right angle. So this is a right angle. All right, C, this one, C. So the bottom part matches, but this part, it's a bit too much, so it's greater than. And if it's greater than a right angle, that means it's greater than 90 degrees, so it's obtuse. It's an obtuse. Okay. All right, E. So we measure it up. Notice how that part of the angle is getting cut off. It's in the pro, not protractor. It's in this little measuring tool thing. So it's less than 90 degrees. I mean, it's less than a right angle. So less than would be an acute. All right, G. Okay, so this one matches perfectly. So that means this is equal to a right angle, which means it's a right angle itself. Oh, sorry about these ones. All right, D. This part is two, it's greater than, so D is obviously greater than, and if you just look at them, you can tell. It's not really the shape of an L, it's like more than, like wider, or like kind of tighter, then it's acute or obtuse. It's greater than, so D would be an obtuse angle. And F kind of tell I think it's gonna be an obtuse but yeah because this part of the angle is too much so it's also greater than which means it's an obtuse angle all right H measure that okay so the bottom part matches up but this part of the angle is cutting into the measuring tool which means it's less than You can kind of tell just by looking at it. If it's less than, that means it's an acute angle. Now let's go to I. So this part matches, but the angle over here, it's too much. And if you look at it, you can also tell that this one is greater than a right angle, which means it's an obtuse angle. All right, and J, tell matches perfectly. So it's equal. 
a right angle. And that is the first page. The next page, number two. Use your right angle template to identify acute, obtuse, and right angles within this painting. Trace at least two of each labeled points and then name them in the table below the painting. All right, so you guys can if you want, but I think it's better, it's good to like practice looking at them and being able to tell if they're obtuse, acute, or right angle. So we can also practice with this one. Start with acute. Remember, acute needs to be smaller, less than nine degrees. So right away, I can tell, let's see this one. This angle is acute because it's less than nine degrees. You can measure it kinda. Yeah, the part, this part, the angle is cutting into the measuring tool. So you can label this with points, A, B, C. You have to also label our angles so they know what we're talking about. So right here, this angle. So this is acute angle A, B, C. Now let's find another acute. Let's see, I already see one over here. This one. Another angle right here, this part is less than 90 degrees. We can, after ABC, we can do D, E, F. So angle D, E, F. All right, and now obtuse angle, remember it's more than 90 degrees. So let's see found one over here and there's obviously more than one correct answer for this problem there's like a lot of angles hidden here and you guys can go out and find the angles here so this part is an obtuse angle you can label this g h i so angle g h i it's obtuse because it's Um, greater than 90 degrees. And another obtuse angle. Let's see. I know there's a lot. Let's go look. I see one over here. Here, there's an obtuse angle. Label this angle J K L. Angle J K L. And this angle is, yep, yeah, more than nine degrees. So angle J K L. Now for right angle, this should be easy. Just an L shape. Let's see right here. This is one. A right angle. Also, right angle is like part of a square or a rectangle too. Look at it, matches perfectly. You can see. M and O. Angle and you. And another right angle, let's see. Let's do. Let's see, there's one. Right here, and there's also other plenty ones. Do PQR. So angle PQR, and there's more than um. There's more angles out there, so you guys can go ahead and look. And number three says construct each of the following using a straight edge. The right angle template you created. Explain the characteristics of each by comparing the angle to a right angle. Use the words greater than, less than, or equal to in your explanations. All right, acute angle is an angle um, that is less than 90 degrees. Like, for here, this is an acute angle, acute angle, acute angle. It's all less than... Um, 90 degrees. So we can really just draw anything 
but it just has to be less than 9 degrees. So like this one, this is an acute angle. You say this is an acute angle because it is less than could we use the vocabulary it is less than 90 degrees so yeah that's pretty much why you know right angle is just an l shape like part of a square kind of so our right angle would be over here so this is a right angle because it is exactly 90 degrees. All right, and C, obtuse angle really just has to be more than nine degrees. Just make it open kind of. right here right this is an obtuse angle because it's more than 90 degrees but yeah all right Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.